Hey, this is Jeff from Jeff Race to the Top. I wish I could do this intro at the racetrack. I just got there a little later than I wanted to, and I couldn't stay late. I had to go to work uh, you know, later that night. I, I had to trade some shifts so I can make it to the racetrack. The job that I'm at right now is, is, is pretty flexible on that stuff. We can give and take some shifts to, to fit our needs, and I'm, I'm grateful for that. But anyway, uh, I did some interviews uh, from the race before. Whoever was willing to be in front of the camera, and I hope, I'm hoping that it turns out all right. I, I, I want to expand this channel and make it better and, and, and try something you know, just outside my own box. But anyway, here it is. I'm here at Grandview interviewing some people around. This possibly might be the last two races of the year or forever possibly. And I'm just going around interviewing people, why people come to the track. This is Phil Everin. And what car do you drive? Currently I'm driving in the stock car Enduro class with a Chevy Cavalier right. 2004. And why do you come here? Why do you do this? Well, I've been doing this for 38 years and I think I'm addicted to it. This is uh, the track's close. It's a great track to race on. Plenty of grooves to race on. I have a lot of fun. A lot of camaraderie amongst the uh, fellow drivers and uh, people in other classes and I just have a darn good time coming here. All right, cool. And it's, it's a pretty much a family event. You brought your family here before, right? Yep, hopefully my grandson's here to watch me today, but I, I, I don't know until they until I look and wave going up the <laughs> braid lap. Awesome, awesome. All right, well, thank you. I just wanted to ask a couple questions. Like I said, this might be the last couple of races forever here. Hopefully it doesn't, but I appreciate it for giving me the time, all right? And I enjoy racing against you, too. Thank you, thank you. One of these days, I will get in front. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with another interviewee. Name is and car. Tom Moses and the Davey Allison 28. Thunderstruck T-Bird. All right, awesome. What brings you here and why, what brings you keeps coming back? Well, I've been indoor racing since uh, 85. Ralph, he calls me up one day and says, hey, um, there's an indoor race at Linda's. Do you want to go? I'm like, motorcycle? He goes, no, 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 they're cars. I'm like, oh, okay, tell me what to do. So 1985, that was his first indoor race. 1985, holy yep. shit. And what keeps bringing you back here? My first win, that was 1995, 10 years later Holy crap. at Orange County. All right, thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to, you know, get an appreciation. Like I said, this could be the last couple of races of the year. We don't know what's exactly going on, and I appreciate it, all right? And good luck out there. Okay, thanks. <laughs> so I got another interviewee, all right? Before, hopefully, this place doesn't close down this year. Hopefully, it continues going because I love this thing, all right? There's another race car, race car driver in my division. His name is? Mike Bentley. And what car do you drive? Uh, the 73. All right. And what brings you here? The excitement. Well, adrenaline rush, the competition, the thrill. All right. Beat my teammates. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. These guys got a lot of years more experience than I do. I'm going to keep that as an excuse, okay? All right. So what brings you to this place, Grandview? Well, that's a tough question. I don't like to drive far, and Evergreen's way too far. It's asphalt. I prefer dirt. Bridgeport's too many rules, too much things you have to do to your car. So this is like a happy medium where, you know, the best bang for your buck, so to speak, where you can put little into your car and have a good time. Fair enough. I thank you, and hopefully this continues forever. Thank you. Hi. I got another driver. He's in my division. Your name is? Roger Coomer. What kind of car you drive and number? Stock Enduro, number 20. And what brings you here? Well, I've been involved in racing for 45 years, and after a 30-year layoff, I decided to start racing again. Awesome, awesome. And what brings you to Grandview in general? I live 10 minutes down the road. Fair enough. That's a good good answer. 10 minutes down the road, That's I, I couldn't even, you know what I mean? And hopefully, hopefully this place is around. Uh, hopefully by the end of the year, it's still around. And, man, what do you think about that? Um... I believe we'll get at least one more year out of it. I, I think I think things will work out that we, we get the race next season, and which I hope because I'm building a new car. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I appreciate taking your time. All right. Hopefully I'll see you next year too. But we still got one more race, right? Yes, we do. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thank you. So I'm here again with another racer. Just asking a couple of questions. Just basic questions. That's all. Name and car number. Dark Rimrod 79. Awesome. Awesome. And what brings you to Grandview and what keeps bringing you back. I used to race late models here years ago okay. until they quit running them so I had to go to Susquehanna 
and the guy found got this car was given to him but he didn't have the money to enter it in a race so i entered it and the axle broke it flipped over seven times so it kind of became mine and you know whatever come up and have some fun awesome Rick, awesome Practiced sprint car last night, so I came here instead of Bridgeport tonight. Okay. Dave, you drive a sprint car too? Yeah, I have a 305 sprint car. I run at Bridgeport. Holy crap! Yeah. yeah. Like I said, it's just some simple questions. That's all I wanted to ask, and I appreciate taking the time. All right. Yeah, Good luck out there. Yep. Thank you. This car never holds together and finishes. It's a <laughs> 50 lap threshold, and then it's done. <laughs> we'll see what happens tonight. Awesome. All right, I got another interview. This time, these are brothers, and like I said, this place. I love this place. Hopefully, it continues on forever. First, I'm gonna ask who are you and what car you drive. Yep. I'm Travis Geyer, car number 25. And who are you? I'm Brandon Geyer, car number 77. All right. So you guys can answer this together or separate. What brings you guys here? Uh, we've been here for 12, 14 years, and there's really no place like it. We uh, we raced when we were younger, and then uh, our dad raced enduro cars at Flemington. And being that close, this seemed like the next best place. So here we are. Fair enough. That seems like it answers both questions of why this place too. Yep. So, so, like I said, hopefully this place continues. These guys are in a different class than I am. And hopefully, I want to say the last race, I want to enter your guys' classes and get my ass whooped. I don't know. <laughs> I have hopeful thoughts. Hopefully, I can place in the top top five, you know, wink, wink. But Chuck Fayish, up for your redraw. Chuck Fayish for your redraw. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you for taking your time. All right. Thank you. And good appreciate luck out there. Thank you. I got another interview here. It's another driver. He's in a, a, the class above mine, the VA class. All right, name is? Jamie Nafsinger. All right. And the car number you drive? Uh, three of Hearts. Uh, it's for the big class. Awesome, awesome. He also has a YouTube channel and uh, Facebook if you want to mention that. Yeah, if you look me up on under uh, YouTube for Jay Nafsinger and under Shishworm for Facebook, uh, come check us out. You uh, see a lot of in-car camera, uh, points out the back end, Get to see how we're um, uh, going faster or slower and how to try and update. And it kind of brings a new perspective on dirt track racing. Awesome, 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 awesome. So what brings you to racing, period? Uh, you know, my family's always been in racing. I've been, I went to Big Diamond as a toddler. My dad raced in slide stocks. Uh, my uncle raced street stocks out at Penn National and just was racing it always. My parents went to Reading Fairgrounds and uh, supposedly I was there before I was born kind of thought and uh, it's in your blood you just kind of don't ever give it up and you keep coming back and we've been all over we went to Big Diamond, Grandview, Penn National, Path Valley, New Egypt, Speedway, Kutztown so we raced a lot of different places and we try and uh, do the best we can. Awesome, awesome. Uh, I appreciate that and what brings you to Grandview mostly? I see you here all the time. I'm, I'm, I'm only here pretty much in Grandview. Uh, I kind of like the, the action. The track's nice. It has nice safety features. They updated the LED lights. It's probably the closest track for us to race at with our uh, rules that we're running. And uh, it kind of fits my budget. You know, that's hard to do when you have a family and trying to support it, playing cards. And, you know, I teach. So it's trying to ba be a balance in life. And once a month is kind of nice. You know, now every so often we get to once every two weeks or once every three weeks but it, it works out for my budget thank you i appreciate that all right and good luck out there hopefully this continues forever i meant we'll see by the end of the year and if it hopefully it's still around right i appreciate it thank you uh, thank you very much all right i got another interviewer he's in the big car league hopefully i'll make it there i might do it for the last race of the year but we'll see name is don murphy and what kind of car are you driving number uh it's number three monte carlo big car enduro all right and why do you race uh, that's all I ever did. Not a ga not a gambler, not a hunter. I'm a racer. So. Fair that's at least guaranteed. You can yeah. at least guarantee to win yourself, right? Definitely. Yep. All right. Yep. All right. And why? What brings you to Grandview? Well, at this point in the season, it's the only place that's really racing besides for Susquehanna or BAPS, whatever they call it now. But uh, yeah, my friend owns this car, and he asked me to drive it tonight, so we came came down to have some fun. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, and good luck out there. All right. Thank you, bud. All right. Yeah. Have a good night. Yeah. I'm here with another interviewer or interviewee. Uh, that's good again. Uh, I got another driver to interview. Um, your name is, and what car you drive? Number. Uh, Rob Storms, uh, 99X. Julian Storms and the 32J. All right. So, what makes you guys race? I, uh, I've raced ever since I was 15. I started with drag racing and uh, had kids, and uh, got out of it for a little bit. And then I started racing um, hair scrambles, uh, motocross, 
and almost killed myself there and realized that I need a roll cage. Actually, talking to that guy right there, come here. This is the guy that got me into this. That's Ron Myers. How you doing? Yep. <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's a modified driver. You are? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. All right, cool. Yeah. Yep. What kind of car do you drive? Uh, 2021, uh, yeah, 2021 Big Mel. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. I, I can't afford it yet, but I want to get I can't there. afford it neither, but I do it. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. And what kind of car do you drive? I drive a 2005 Acura RSX right, and, and a small you, car. Yeah, and I like, I got into racing because of my dad. I mean, I've been around it since I was a little kid and whatnot. And I saw that he got into um, small cars and I figured that I would be interested in doing it. I mean, I could start at 14, and I was interested, and I said, all right, let's go for it. Yeah, who needs a license out here, right? Yeah. <laughs> By the looks of it. Nobody <laughs> has one. <laughs> but anyway, so what brings you to Grandview? You know what I mean? Uh, it's uh, actually really close to the house. We're only about, uh, what, 50 minutes from here, so. Damn, okay. You know. Okay. I, I, well, yeah, I like, I like it because it's a um, mid-sized track. It's got some banking. It's usually good track conditions, other than tonight. Um, <laughs> and I don't know. It's just a good layout and it's good, good, um, I don't even know, track surface. Fair enough. Thank you. And I appreciate it. You know, thank you for doing the interview. Yeah. Hopefully this place will be still here. I still, I got to get over my fears of that damn wall over there. You know what I mean? But it <laughs> yeah, is what it is. I've it a couple times. Second nature. <laughs> it's like, you know. All right. Thank you. I appreciate thank it. All right. You. I'll see you. I got another driver here to interview. This time it's, it's, it's a very decent car. I love this car. I love, I want to get one eventually, but name is Kenny Gilmore type of car and number car it's a uh, model 358 modified and it's a 1996 Olsen car awesome 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 so what makes you race well I was born into racing uh, pretty much my dad started the year before I was born uh, I, I know he started here but he started racing in 1963 I was born in 64 so just kind of born into it and uh, just followed in my dad's footsteps and this is I, we race here because this is the closest place we're like a half hour away from here you answered my next question of why you come in here but hopefully this place sticks around and hopefully next year we can keep doing this do you think it's going to stick around uh, i hope so i mean there's there's rumors now that we might race one more year um i hope we do because uh i mean this is i i, I pretty much come here my whole life and i, I wouldn't want to see it stop thank you i appreciate it all right thanks for taking time thank you, all right? thank you. All right, have a good night you too i hope you guys enjoyed the interview i'm just trying something a little different trying to better myself as a videographer baby steps at a time over the fall and winter I got some work cut out for me and hopefully I can bang out these videos at least once a week get some good content coming um, and thank you thank you for watching this video to the end and a like share and a subscribe will do me greatly I'll see you at the racetrack